Well, hi friends, I'm Brian Cosby, this is Provide and Protect, and today we're talking about this Garmin InReach Mini 2. Now this is a satellite communicator with two-way messaging. It has an interactive SOS messaging uh, with a 24-7 emergency response center, and they will coordinate you know, first responders to get out to you if you're in, in trouble or you have an emergency. Um, it also has navigation features uh, on this as well. So, you know, there's all kinds of uses for something like this. So whether you're out camping, hiking, exploring in the backcountry, there's no cell service. Uh, you can still communicate with your loved ones, your family, friends uh, via the satellite network. Um, and I would say that there, another reason for this to have something like this is for a grid down uh, scenario. You know, not too long ago, there was a hurricane that came through North Carolina. And, uh, you know, all the cell towers were down, the generators that backed those up were not working. And so people were trying to communicate with the outside world. Well, this would have been very, very handy to have uh, to communicate with the outside world. Um, but I would say the, the primary use of something like this is communications. A secondary use is navigation. Uh, you can obviously see it's pretty small. <laughs> it just fits in my hand here. So it's two inches by four inches. It's only three and a half ounces. So again, pretty small. It is rugged. It is impact resistant. It's waterproof. Uh, so you can do a lot with this. And the idea is if you're carrying this with you, it also comes with a little carabiner like this. And you can just hook that carabiner on that loop and attach that to you know, your, your shoulder straps or somewhere where you can hear the, the notifications coming in or can easily access it if you get in trouble somehow. Um, and I, like I said, the primary use is that communicator and, you know, it, it, you can have program, pre-programmed messages in here. You can put your contacts in here from your phone and, or just manually put them in here also and be able to communicate, uh, again, with anybody uh, in the world, uh, which is pretty nice if you've got their, if you've got their number and, or you can post to social media on this thing. I'll show you that in just a second as well. Um, so the, the SOS feature, this button right here, uh, what that basically does is, is it allows you to communicate uh, with a response center, emergency response center, and you can also buy insurance for this uh, in the sense that, like a, a search and rescue insurance. So if, uh, let's say you're out in the backcountry, they need, you need to get a helicopter out there, you can pay a little in, you know, money for insurance, it's not very much. And you know it'll cover up to like a hundred thousand dollars. Actually, they've got different insurance plans, so that's another option uh, you can get with this. Uh, as far as the navigation, again, this I would say the secondary use of this. I say secondary because it's not as full, a uh, fully functional and easy to use the navigation as other other uh, products out there. But I, it is it is helpful, and it is would be a great kind of backup emergency navigation uh, system to have here. Uh, you can set courses and waypoints and activities. You can even navigate back to your original starting point using the track back feature. Uh, you know, if you get lost or something, it has a digital compass on here. And, you know, if I go down, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, navigation east. I can turn this. Northeast, north. You see that right there? So, um, you got navigation on here. You got weather. So if you want a weather report, wherever you are, based upon your GPS, and there's that. And you can get a full one. You can update that. So uh, I have that updated two hours ago. But if you want to, sorry about my camera right now. Uh, if you want to update that, uh, you know, you just push this button up here, and then you can you can update that. So uh, yeah. So weather. You can check your messages, and back here to the front, it shows your battery life. I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, date and that kind of stuff. So uh, pretty, pretty nice. A lot of a lot of features on here. Now, if you do set a course in here, I'll show you how to connect this and, and what this looks like connected to a phone and watch in just a minute in a moment. But if you do have this uh, connected uh, to a phone, or if you're just using this to track, uh, you know, you can you can start heading toward your destination that you pre you know program in here. And it will tell you if you're getting off course. It'll actually, you can set it to buzz or vibrate and, and kind of give a sound if you're getting off course from that destination. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of nice. Uh, you can you you don't have to have a subscription plan for this if you just want to do internal tracking. But really, to use this in its in its true features, the key features, you do have to have a subscription. And there's three different kinds of sub subscription plans. And I just have the like the mid level 
here. Um, and I'll show you some of that in just a moment as well. But the other kind of tracking and navigation you can do is with a plan. And, and what you do with that is that you can upload it, it via the satellite. You can share your location and navigation uh, on through the satellites through the map share page. And again, I'll show you this in just a second. But that way, if you're out on the trail and you want to make, in, let's say your wife back home or your kids, or, you know, they want to make sure you're okay, that you're wherever you are, they can, they can look at, through a code, they can look at a map and kind of see your course on a trail or if you've gotten off course or something like that. And if you have, they can communicate with you. So something really nice uh, like that. Um, again, like I said, you can connect this and I'll show you this here. Connect this to a phone or I've got a Garmin Instinct watch because I have a video on that. But uh, with your phone, there's a few different apps that I think are helpful with this. Um, you can kind of see them here, that, that zoom in there. So I've got my Garmin Connect, that's for with my watch. Uh, I've got the Explore, Garmin Explore, and Messenger. The main one really for this is the uh, messenger, messenger app. So the, I got the standard plan here, 150 texts a month. And again, you can check weather on, on this from connected from the inReach. You can message from this. So one of the negatives on, on the inReach is this just kind of clunky and hard to a text, a, a message. Again, you can have pre-programmed text. It just takes a while to actually text a long message uh, on this because it's, you know, there's, it's not a touch screen. You just got up, down arrow uh, on here. You've got an OK and a back button, SOS button. That's it. So it's made, it's made to be streamlined, you know, and small and compact, that kind of thing. And so having it connected via Bluetooth to your phone makes it just easier to message someone just like normal. Um, so that's, that's that app. And then the other app is the Explorer app. So you can, you can put in, there's trail maps, there's all kinds of maps on here. Obviously it's showing me in, in East Tennessee right now. Uh, but you can connect this app to not only the inReach, but also to your, your watch. Uh, so I've got, I've got all three of these things connected uh, together right now. Again, I've got a review on this watch, fantastic watch, GPS functionality on this. But uh, again, the navigation, I would say, uh, move that out of the way, the navigation I would say on this is a secondary, really a secondary feature. Um, so let me talk about the battery life. Uh, on the website and in the little instruction book that it comes with, uh, it says that on the normal default 10 minute tracking mode, which is just every 10 minutes, you know, giving, getting a, a location tracking there, connecting with the satellite, then it can last up to 14 days on a, on a single charge. There should be a footnote or a qualifier with that. And that would be full sky, like no, no uh, canopy and trees. You're not indoors. The thing is, if you're indoors or under a canopy of trees or something like that, then uh, this is always going to be searching for satellites and it won't be able to connect. And so it's just going to drain the battery. So some, a lot of people have found that that only lasts about a couple days. <laughs> if, if you're just constantly under canopy or indoors, it's just not going to, not going to really work uh, that well. So you got to be really outdoors, number one, and, and really the best you know, optimal kind of outdoors is with just clear skies. Now, cloud cover won't really affect it, uh, but but certain like f matter will. You know, leaves and if again, if you're under something or in something. Um, so there's that. Let me just talk about a couple of the cons. And I've already kind of alluded to a few of them. I mentioned earlier about it just being a little tedious, cumbersome to text uh, from this. Again, you can do it. It's just, it's going to be a little tedious uh, to do. So that's why I recommend just a, connecting this to a phone and then just using that. Um, the battery life, like I said, you know, it's, it's just variable. So just know that going in. And the, the cost on this may be a, a deterrent to some of you guys, um, for sure, because it's not cheap. Uh, this thing on the website, they're saying it is for around $400. So now on Amazon right now, as of recording today, it is $315. So 75, you know, 85 bucks less uh, than the website. I actually got this on Amazon, quote, renewed. Uh, so basically someone bought it, they returned it, and then the Amazon team or whoever goes and 
checks everything out, makes sure it's just working like new, and then you can buy it cheaper. And that's how I got it for $278. So I got it for a hundred and what, hundred and twenty-two dollars less than the website because of that. So you know, you can look around. There, there. You don't have to buy it directly from their website. So, um, and then maybe another con that some people would not like is uh, it does require a subscription. So you got to have a subscription to connect this to the satellites. Now, I think the cheapest subscription is like 15 bucks a month. Uh, the one that's on here now is 30, and then you can get like a pro one. Uh, I don't know how much that one is off the top of my head. You can. I'll, I'll drop a link for all this uh, down below so you can go check that out. Um, but again. I think the two big reasons to have this, one, just the peace of mind to know that I can at any time uh, communicate with my wife or other people around the world, doesn't matter if they're cell phone service or not. Uh, and then number two, not just in my travel and activities and exploration and hiking and all that, but also uh, as, a, as an emergency communicator. So again, if the grid is down, you can't communicate uh, with uh, with people via cell phone, then this would be an ideal thing. I forgot to mention one thing about the battery. If if you are concerned about that, if you're heading out on the trail and you are concerned about the battery, then you can either bring a battery backup power bank like this or a solar power bank, which I've got also. Uh, and that way, if you have a especially if you have a solar power uh, backup, then you can just plug this in. Like I said, you just charge it with a USB C. On the side of this, plug plug the uh, solar panel into the USB, and you're good to go. And you don't have to worry about it. So that's what I would do. I mean, if I was actually going in for a long time, you know, let's say I'm going two weeks into the Alaskan backcountry or something, uh, I would take a little solar panel uh, charger with me, and that way I don't have to worry about this running out of battery. So anyway, guys, hope this has been helpful. And like I said, I'll drop a link down. Uh, below for this. Uh, they did not send this to me. I'm not sponsored by Garmin, but I do think this would be a great option and something for you to consider as far as especially emergency communications uh, or communications when there's no cell service. Well, if you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you and your support. We'll see you on the next video.